Hey there, my name is Lindsay from Paper Arts Planner Co. and I am super excited to show you guys how to use the Apple Calendar and the Google Calendar links included in the new Paper Arts Planners. These links are in the undated Paper Arts Planners plus all the 2024 Paper Arts Planners. So if you're ready to learn how to use these hyperlinks, let me show you. Okay, so if you are an Apple user and you are wanting to use the Apple Calendar in conjunction with your digital planner, you are first going to need to enable the Apple shortcut. So to do that, you want to go right here and you want to hit where it says click here to enable Apple Calendar links. First, you're going to click on that and it's going to ask if you want to run this external link. You're going to click yes and it's going to open up shortcuts. Now it's going to ask you to install this shortcut. So you're going to want to set up shortcut. And then you're going to want to choose whatever app you're using. I'm going to use GoodNotes, but you can also choose a different app if you are using a different app on your iPad. So I'm just going to go down here to GoodNotes and hit select, but you can choose NoteShelf or whatever other app you might be using. And then you want to hit add shortcut. Now, once you do that, you can go over here to all shortcuts and you're going to see this one that says Paper Hearts Planners. Now, once you have that installed, you don't ever want to delete it as long as you're using my planner. So make sure that it just you just leave it as it is. You don't edit it or do anything to it. Just set it up and then let it go. So now, once you have done that, you can go back to your planner. Now, whenever you want to use this Apple Calendar shortcut, you're going to go to anywhere within your planner or any month or week. And then you are going to click on the right hand side of whatever day it is. So on the monthly calendar in all of the, on all of the dates right here in this right corner, there are links to your Apple calendar. So whenever you click on this, it's going to ask you if you want to run an external link and you're going to hit yes. And it's going to run. It might take a second, but then it's going to pop up and it's going to say new event and it's going to have the date that you clicked on. So it already has January the 3rd, 2024 here. So now I can go in here and I can add a title and location and I can add whatever my event is right from my calendar. So that's how you do it on the month. Now, if you want to do it on the week, the weekly pages are the same. So whatever day you are on, so Oh, let's say it's January the 3rd. You're just going to click right here in the right hand corner of any of these boxes. So in all of the day boxes, there are links to Apple Calendar on the right hand side. So you can click right here and it's going to open a short or open a link. You're going to hit yes. And it's going to take a second and then it'll pop up. Now, sometimes just like it's done here, if you ran this and then you ran it again, sometimes it can take a minute for it to work. Um, if you're doing like one right after the other, especially with good notes, it can be a little funky. So what I do when that happens, I just start all over, let good notes refresh, refresh itself, especially with good notes six, there just can be issues sometimes. Um, but if you refresh it, let it run again, hit yes, then it's going to pop up and you can add that event for January the 2nd. Now that is how you do this on the dated calendars. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to do it on the undated. But next, let's talk about the Google links. So with Google links, you don't have to do anything differently. Um, you don't have to set up a shortcut. You can just click on the link. So all the Google links are going to be on the left hand side of the boxes. So let's say that you want to open your Google calendar for January the 3rd. You're just going to tap right in the left hand corner hit yes. And if you have the Google Calendar app installed on your device, it's going to pop right up. If you don't have the app installed on your device, it's going to open in a web browser. And if you are signed in to Google on that web browser, then it's going to pop up and it's going to have where you can add your event. If you're not signed in, it's going to ask you to sign in and then you can add your event. So that's how you use the Google Calendar links on the um, monthly page. If you want to do it on the weekly page, you're just going to click on the left hand side of any of these boxes, open it up, and it's going to run to that specific day. You can add your title and add all your information here. Now, the way this works, it's only one direction. So you can't add an event in Google Calendar or Apple Calendar and expect it to show up in GoodNotes. It doesn't work that way. The only thing it does is when you are in your digital planner, clicking on this link allows you to add an event 
to Apple Calendar or Google Calendar. It doesn't work backwards where if you add the event into Google or Apple Calendar, it's not going to show up automatically in your planner. Unfortunately, it just doesn't work that way. The benefit of this is just to give you a link directly to that calendar to add an event. It's just an extra bonus added to a planner, but unfortunately it doesn't sync automatically. So if you write on your planner that you have an appointment on January the 2nd, and if you just write it, that's not going to automatically show up in Apple Calendar or Google Calendar. You have to manually add that event to your calendar. These links are just the option to open the calendar and add the link without having to do a bunch of steps. It just opens it up for you. So really, it's just like a little perk, um, but it's not technically syncing because GoodNotes or um, any digital planning app like GoodNotes, NoteShell, they just don't have that capability yet. Um, so this is just our way of like adding in something extra for you, but unfortunately I can't make it sync. So that's how you use it on the dated calendar. Let's talk about how to use it on the undated calendar. So with the undated planners, the shortcut is different than the dated planners. So if you are navigating between an undated planner or an undated planner, um, or you have both installed on your device, you need to make sure that you also have both shortcuts in installed on your device. So to install that shortcut, you're just gonna click on it right here and install it just like we did at the beginning of this video. And then you can go to any monthly page, daily page, or weekly page, and you click right up here in the corner where it has this Apple link and this Google link. So this Apple link is gonna take you to Apple Calendar. So if you click on it and you're gonna hit run, it's just gonna open up to whatever today's date is. So after it runs, and sometimes it takes a second, and then it's gonna bring up for whatever today's date is. So this opened to September 22nd, 2023 which is what today's date is, or 26, goodness. <laughs> now, the same works for the Google Calendar. So if you click on this link here, it is going to open up the Google Calendar for today's date. So I'm just gonna hit yes, and then it's gonna open up and bring it up to today's date. So that is how you add your events in for the Undated Teacher Planner, as well as the Undated Life Planner, and then as well as how you use the links on the Dated Life Planners. If you guys have any questions, let me know.